Hello, today I'd like to talk to you about the contemporary kneeling styles. Yes, why this is important today? Because I understand that everyone has your personal style and everyone adapt your knitting style to your own way to knitting that is more comfortable to you and to the best way that you would like to knitting and that is the best to you. That's great. But I'm in very uncomfortable that that is um, only the designers get the bad way on this fault because the designers have their limit too and sometimes it's not their fault and I'd like to show you in these two pieces of knitting how can you understand better why sometimes you don't understand some part of the designers and maybe I can have some piece of solutions for you. Follow me in this video into the end and I have something interesting to show you. So let's go look at this. Um, you know that you have uh, English style, con continental style, continental mixed. Uh, you have a lot of names of uh, styles of knitting and uh, uh, that's something, combination knitting. Uh, you can call it this as you want. But uh, that thing I'd, I'd like to would like to call this uh, uh, a name that I would like to give to this uh, to understand better. I'd like to save. I, I, I would like use the face. This needle here, I I like this. It okay. is easy and kind. So I would like face and back. Uh, it's a name too that I got from a class that I got a uh, blueprint about combination knitting. So that's why I use this language too. Oh. Le so let's start talk about this. I use these two pieces of knitting to understand uh, and start to introduce the subject. Why this is complicated a little bit? Because I check the most of the books on the patterns that you can find today, they don't get, uh, uh, they don't consider that we have different of style to knit. Most of them get in mind the knitting stitches are in all in the same way in the needle. So, and then this is not true. Let's check this. I go to call face and back of the stitch the position of the kneading, the stitches in the needle. And face of the needle, if I get something here, face of the needle, if I put a needle here, I stitch here, the part of the, the stitch that comes from my yarn ball here is the face, the leg face, and the part that's come from my work is the back, or the stitch that I have and come from my right side, my right needle is the face, and the strand that comes from the left is my back. Okay, that's the first point that I'd like to, to, to fix with you before I start. So let's do an exercise. So here in this needle you have 
a stitch that is face back. I have a second stitch, you have a face and back. Oh wow! Face in front, back in back. Here I have a face in front of the needle, a back in the back, face in front, back in the back, face in front, back in the back. Face in front, back in the back, face in front, back in the back, face in front, back in the back. Oh, face in front, back in the back, face in front, back in the back. Oops. Facing back, back in front. Facing back, back in front, facing back, back in front. How can it? Can this happen, Marcelo? That is very easy because when they turn the yarn in counterclockwise, you have the face in front and back in back. But when you turn in the clockwise, you have back in front and facing back of the stitch. That is the first factor that influence in our knitting stitches okay the second factor is uh, how you do the pull wise our pull stitches so let's go to knit this one here you can see uh, the pull stitches the knit stitches doesn't make any difference okay you have here English styles to knit stitches you can see doesn't make any difference so let's go oh, you have here you have always to knit the knit and the pull the face of the stitches you have to knit the twisted stitches that those stitches you have to knit in the back of stitch these, these stitches make some difference and this stitch is very important to know the face and the back that's why you have to know this information to apply this theory this information is very important to apply in these cases okay so here you have finish my knit stitches you can see always place it facing front back and the back now let's go to do some pull stitches i go to do a pull stitch in american style or english style three one two and three what I do I have facing the front and backs on the backs now I have here yeah faces in the front backs in the backs good now let's go to in uh, continental style I put my tension if you would like to know about tensions check my knit stitches to learn how to make some tensions so here my first knit stitch my pull stitch sorry second and third so have same thing no variation my second style of pull stitch Great, no variation. And my third. I have four. What do I have for my third? Oh, look at that. I have a variation. I have my, my back is on the front and my face is on the front, on my back here. So, yeah, you can see 
the result is a little different. But, but why can I change my way to, to need and have this variation and be different in, and I have to adapt all my ways to knit and be different just to be comfortable, just to have more pleasure and to be more results. Are you obligated to change the way to knit? If you want. If you don't want, doesn't matter. But if it, it makes pleasure to you, why not? I changed. I, I made this change to me. I invite you to do this. No, but I share this information because it's very important. Okay? It's important to know that you have a different things. Because left-handed people does learn to knit if you right hand sometimes suffer to knit with right hand because it's not their dominant hand. And sometimes continental style could be a good help to them. And we have a lots of variation and lots of the factors that could, could, could make someone change their, their style. But I'd like just to share this information. Okay? So if you like this video, share. If you don't like, that's okay. You can give me some comments here. And I'd like, I'd love to know why it doesn't like. And then, uh, thank you very much to be here. And I'm here next week with a new information to you about knitting, spinning, and natural fiber. Thank you very much.